Hi everyone, I'm Constantin and here it is, my house. Yes. Come in please. No, 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 no. First of all, Randy Neal's challenge. Okay, now we can solve this question. Every test has positive results and negative results. So, in this table, these two squares at the top will be for positive results. Let's mark them with letter P for positives. And these two squares at the bottom will be for negative results. Let's mark them too with letter N. Are these 400 tests really positive? To know, we need to look at the reality, which is always on the top. So they are positive in reality, so these positive results will be true positive. If they are true, another positives will be false. Let's look at these 100 negatives. Are they really negative? Don't think so, because they are positive in reality, so they will be false negative. If they are false, another negatives will be true. So, hope it's not so hard. How we can remember these formulas? I strongly recommend you to use this construction every time. They will be true at the top, divided by the same true at the bottom, plus false. But which result we need to use in every position, positive or negative? To solve this problem, let's combine positive predictive value with negative predictive value, because they will use the same letter in every position, P for positive and N for negative results. Also, let's combine sensitivity with specificity, they will use different letters. But this construction will be the same every time. You also can remember that true always on the top, because if you want to be on the top, you must be true. Let's start with writing formula for positive predictive value by using our construction. So P, P, V, it's always true at the top, divided by the same true at the bottom, plus false. Which result we need to use in every position? P, P, V, it's all about the P. So there will be P in every position, it's all about positives. What about negative predictive value? Let's use our construction, true at the top, divided by true at the bottom, plus false. So NPV, it's all about Ns. So N will be in every position in this formula. True negative, false negative. Let's talk about sensitivity. Remember that letters will be different in every position. So using our construction, true at the top, divided by the same true at the bottom, plus false. And now I want to ask you, what does really make sense for you? For me, it makes sense when you are a positive guy. Because of it, there will be positive at the top, divided by the same true positive at the bottom, plus false negative. <laughs> okay, remember that there will be different letters in every position. And the last but not the least, specificity. Using our construction, true at the top, divided by the same true at the bottom, plus false. And to remember who will be at the top, I always think that there is some special guy and this special one guy and he is not so good, he is negative guy. 
So there will be negative at the top divided by the same true negative at the bottom plus false positive. And there are different letters in every position. Use numbers from this table to get the right answer. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Randy Neal. Goodbye.